guys, this is John. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my garage. If you're new to the channel, a lot of you are. This is it right here. This is the spread. And I've just been uh, loving these bikes. I've been collecting them for many years now and the collecting, collection's kind of crazy. And we're going to start working on one of the six bikes I got from a collection down in Tennessee. It's the Greg Brooks collection. And I'm just so excited. They're sitting here. There's a row of them right there. And we're going to work on one of them today. Uh, it's called a Condor. So we're going to talk about what the heck a Condor is, where they come from, what's so neat, unique and special about this one. It's a cool bike, but we got to make some changes to it. Uh, it had a single gear in front. We're going to return it back to a, uh, your typical double chain ring in the front with a front derailleur, etc. And uh, so we're going to take this thing apart and have a little bit of fun with it. The place is a little bit of a mess. I got bikes thrown all over the place. Got here, here, here. Uh, we just did this wood wall. A lot of you probably didn't watch a video from last week because it's not about bicycles. It's about this stupid wall. And we put up some cabinets. There's fewer bikes here. And looks like I have to buy some racks. Like these little uh, racks here that I got as part of that collection. I think I'm going to buy 20 more and we're just going to line bikes all the way across the back. I'm starting to run out of real estate. Now on the 20th of this month, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law are going to pick up that car. That'll give us some space. This one is going up for sale, my 2001 Audi TT. That is the spec of specs, boys and girls. It's an awesome car, but it's got to go. We got to make room for bikes. So in the meantime, oh, wait a minute. Gotta have this, gotta have the lights on. There we go. Yeah, I'm excited. I haven't worked on a bike on the channel in quite a while. So let's get this Condor up on the rack, see what she needs, and uh, get to work on it. Let's assess what we have here. According to the Condor company, this is a superb model. That's what they call it. It's a superb, and they call it the superb lug set. And they say it's from the late 60s or early 70s. But if you look here, it actually appeared on a book written uh, in 1972, I believe it was. And uh, these were custom painted. Is it the same bike? I don't think so. But someone rumored that it was one of two and the other one was owned by Eric Clapton. No idea if there's any truth to that. But yeah, this thing is gorgeous. Um, got a sloping fork crown, not as ornate as the rest of the bike. Reynolds 531 tubes throughout. Now we have to change this. It's got a single chain ring. We're gonna go back to the double. Of course, this is the crux shifter, which I have, which is great. Um, Nova record derailleur. Now this thing here is dated 1974, but I don't know if that's original. It's got the standard reach brakes. It's got some Campagnolo Omega 20 rims, which are much more modern. Uh, love the saddle, guys. Check this thing out. I don't know if this one's going to stay on it. I think it might, but I love the copper rails and the, the big rivets. And, oh, the coolest part is hidden under here. There we go. Check out that etching in the seat tube. Isn't that awesome? And I, I also have a stem with the same etching on it. That's the Condor logo. Now the handlebar and stem are Chinelli. It did come with, this bike did come with another Chinelli stem, but it, literally this long, it's like a 130. But it has that Condor etching on it, like I just showed you on the seat post. These uh, hoods are munched, so they're gonna be replaced. Unfortunately, there is a nice scuff on the decal. Don't know if I could find a replacement. I'm really tempted to keep this one as is. But you know, I, you know me, I like bling and I like things to look clean. But uh, yeah, we'll have to think about that. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments section below. Check out those fastback stays. Beautifully done. They kind of clamp tight. A little bit of a concern, I'll have to look at that. But yeah, here you go. Let's take her apart. Unlike other bikes I've done in the recent past, uh, this bike is in really good shape.
Now it's unfortunate, but the paint is a little yellowed under the cables. We'll see how much that buffs out. Now check out the protection that Greg put under these shifters. It's almost like a, th like a thread lock type stuff. Look at that. It's like goo. And it's pretty dry. We'll see what it looks like under there. Yeah, this is pretty unique stuff. This is like the stuff you put on threads. Turns out this is a SRAM chain. Uh, that's gonna go away. <laughs> I know what we're putting on there. Look at these pedals, guys. These are sharp. Look like track pedals, do they not? Without the, the quill? What say you? Oh, they roll really smooth. Beautiful. Alfredo bind us straps. If I pronounce that wrong, I'm sure you'll tell me. Feels pretty smooth. Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, pretty loose. Now this thing's been sitting 14 years, so I'm sure that had something to do with it. Oh, very loose. Too loose. Well, I'm feeling it. it doesn't feel bad. It does feel like it needs to be cleaned, however. Oh, we're gonna put some polish on that, like quick. As you can see, your cable stop's got that muck underneath it too. Whoops, wait a minute. Good time to see if your hanger is straight. May as well. Wow, it's perfect. Admittedly, guys, I'm impatient. I'm gonna try a little bit of this regular car polish on the top tube and see what it does to the yellowing. Uh, let's, let's find out together. I'm not sure how this is coming out on camera, if you can see it yellowing, but uh, let's try a little polish. Okay, let's, let's see what this does. Hopefully it stays in focus. Okay, it did nothing for the yellowing. It did make it look shinier, cleaner, but the yellow is there. I think that's, that might be there to stay. I'm sure you can see this, this looks pretty trashed. Let's try a little bit of degreaser. Carry some dirt. Let's try some polish. Huge improvement. Huge, huge improvement. I'm excited about that. Definitely looks aged, but definitely looks better. Let's see what we can do with this chrome on the bottom bracket. Just like that, it's out. And is well taken care of. A lot of extra grease, but it's very clean. Looks good. Now that does look a little look a little bit like surface rust. Let's first do the quick degreasing, and then we'll do a little wipe down here. Yeah, a little bit of oxidation there. Not bad for 50 years old, right? Or more. Let's see what chrome polish does to that. Looks pretty good. Now this stuff here wasn't really polished from the factory. It's, it's uh, you could tell it was uh, not polished as best as it could have. But uh, yeah, it looks great, man. This is beautiful. Now the headset feels like butter. I mean, it's smooth as could be. 
I'll check the bearings, but let's see how these lugs clean up. A little bit of chrome polish. Now there's some defects here or cracks. I don't know if you could see them. I'll show you up close in a second. Let's see. Oh, she pretty boys and girls. Oh, ho, ho. and that's the reason why you buy these ornate bikes. If you don't like the bling, go to another channel because I love the bling. Look at that. Mr. Greg Brooks had great taste. Tell me these lugs aren't crazy, man. What a blessing. What a cool bike. That's just fun. That's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Here's a little imperfection there. Let me show you. Yeah, there you go. That's rough. I don't know why. I don't think that's coming off. Check this out, guys. Jim Platts was painted on the top tube. And I googled that name, and the only Jim Platts I could find was a gentleman who passed a couple years ago at 76 years old. He was an orthodontist out of Arizona. Maybe he was the previous owner, maybe he wasn't, but I could not find another Jim Platts on the internet. Uh, now, the Condor Company started in 1948 in Britain by a guy named Monty Young, and his whole idea was to have a beautiful, ornate, lightweight racing bike that you were here. You could uh, choose your lugs, as you can see in the photo here, and this was a superb lug set, so they called this model the Superb. Now, this was custom built, and I could only find two bikes in this color, and it's one of them is this bike here, and the other one is on the cover of a book. Now that cover, the, that cover uh, on the book was from 1972. And according to Don from Classic Rendezvous, uh, he dated the, the uh, Reynolds decal to be between 1970 and 73, even though the parts have a patent 74 written on them. So that gives you an idea when the bike was built. Now I just learned that my tires came in at uh, Mill Race Cyclery. So let's run to the store and pick them up. Hey, how you doing, John? Ah, looks like you got the tires ready. You do. Woohoo! Rubinos. All right, check it out, guys. Support your local bike shop. You got four? Yes. Awesome. I'll take them. Thanks. Awesome. Guys, let me remind you support your local bike shop and buy where you ride. We are now in the original bike cave and uh, we need to find some parts uh, for the Condor. We need to get a front derailleur, we need a shifter set, cog, chain, cable guide. Uh, yeah, some cables. Let's start digging them up. Okay, we need a five-speed cog. Prefer, here we go. It's an Everest. This came from the same collection. What do you think, guys? Is this the one? You know, I like that, but I wonder if I should go a little more blingy. I thought I had a new one. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, look what we got here. Let's see. I got a box. Ooh. She pretty. I think that's the ticket. What do you guys think? I think that's the one. All right, we need a chain. Whoop. Chain rings. Let's get back to that. Oh, here we go. Got a Regina Oro. Actually, times two. Chain rings. Looking for a campy 52. Well, 42. Well, there's a 42. I want I need an over record, right? Can't. Oh, here we go. It's a 41, actually. Yeah, that's a 41. Let's go with it. Why not? And then here's a 52. Looks pretty good. Let's come down here. See what we got. We are looking for what are we looking for? Cable guides. There we go. Campanello. Pretty. I think that's new. Huh, do I need a new one on this one? That's showing a little bit of a little bit of something. A little more aged. That's probably more appropriate. Looks good too. Alright, let's go with that one. Also need shifters and a front derailleur. They're somewhere in there. Oh! What do we got here? 
So these are the shifters I was talking about earlier. New old stock, but it's got the stops on there, which which we which we want for that era. And I don't think I have a used pair. I think we're gonna go with those. And then we need a Campanello front derailleur. That looks period correct. What do you guys think? What do you camping know-it-alls think? Looks good, actually. It's a good shape. It might have been the one that was originally on it. So what else we got in here? And another one. Well, you know you have a sickness when you have buy the cables by the hundred. So the shifters are a no-brainer. Now the front derailleur, you know, I'm not a camping know-it-all, so I don't know. Oh, that's that's this one's that's stupid. That's new old stock. I'm sorry, I know enough to know it's new. This one is not new, but it's it's probably the one that came off the bike, because he, you know, it's from the same collection. I'm gonna go with this one. Something I want you to see in here. Let's see where is it. It's in here somewhere. Here it is in the back. Gentle. Look at that. That's the correct stem for that bike. But look at the length of this thing. You know, actually, that's a buck twenty. I'm gonna see if I get away with that because I really want this on that bike. Check that out. How can you not want that on the Condor? Even if it doesn't fit, I still want the darn thing on the bike. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Well, it looks like we have well, almost everything we need. We need chain ring bolts. So, whoop, bearings. Oh, here they are. How about these gold ones here? There's four. That helps. That's helpful. Let's see if we can dig out some pretty bolts here that are not all rusty. I can't get it out. Oh. Look at that, they're already attached. And I like these, these are in good shape. I'm gonna go with that right here. Also need some tape. I know some came, some came with the collection. That's what I'm looking for. Right here too. Uh oh, these are different. These are not the same. Oh, I got one in here too. All right, let's see. What does this match? Does this match? Hopefully it's not a third kind. Let's see what we got. Uh. All right. Oop. These two. Ha <laughs> ha. Got it. Hmm. Just need hoods. Need hoods. Let's see what we got. Uh. Hmm. Those are trashed. Madolo. Madolo. Uh, I wouldn't do that to that by King Creek. Well, the only hoods I have for Campanello are white. You know, what do you think, guys? You know what? I'll aim it up next to the bike and see how that looks. It might work with the Condor. All right, now let's take these wheels. I think we have to remove the tires. Let's remove the cog and get these things cleaned up. Actually, these hubs feel really stinking smooth. So I'm going to take a peek in there. I'm even afraid to do that, they run so smooth. That doesn't feel healthy, guys. That is munched. Yeesh. The paws are munched or the bearings are munched? Let's see the condition underneath here. I'm looking down in here, guys. Guys, the, the grease is clean. Stinking grease. He must. He must overhaul these right before his accident, or you know, he had so many bikes like I do. He probably didn't put a ton of mileage on it. But no, I'm not overhauling these. They're too smooth. They feel too good. I ain't gonna upset that apple cart. Now these are uh, some newer Campanello rims. I have to look them up. They're the uh, Omega Twenties. I'm not exactly sure um, how new they are, but I think I'll stick with them for a while. Um, I would like to get a period correct rim on this bike eventually. Uh, what would be a good rim for this thing? 
I think it's in the 70, 1972 range. And uh, man, this wheel's in great shape. I'm actually going to use a little bit of the clean streak. Um, that does a good job cleaning things up. I'm not going to polish them. You know, I actually don't mind um, a little bit of tarnish. This bike is older. Um, I'm not trying to fool any, anyone into thinking this thing is new. But uh, yeah, it's already looking good. We're going to be fine. Thing just needs a little bit of a wipe down, that's all. Smooth. Looks good too. Not really shiny. Well, let's just put on some tires. Puppy. There's that puppy. This is Dory. You good girl. Hi, you good girl. Yes, you are. You good girl. Where's Pipey? She upstairs. Huh? All right, back to work. This thing is so tight. I already worked it around. I'm stuffing the tube into the rim itself. I have to work this over a little at a time. Hate to break out the tire tool, but I may have to. Look at that, guys. Look at that. There it goes. Oh, look at that. Not bad, huh? Here's the other one. That's Piper. Hi, puppy. She's more shy than the other one is, see? The other one's got to jump right in. She gets jealous, right? See? Aww. All right, check this out, guys. I have a link in the description below. The, the, the Classic Bicycles Auburn Show. Check this out at ClassicBicyclesAuburn.com. That's a swap meet. There's seminars. Big bike show. With, uh, with the Judge Bikes and so, I'll have four bicycles there myself. Come on out and say hello. All right, guys, we are back in the shop. I want to show you what's coming up next after we finish this uh, Condor video. We're going to work on a Harry Quinn. What the heck is a Harry Quinn? I don't want any dirty comments now. Anyways, uh, we're going to do this bike. We're going to put some tires on there. We're going to clean this thing up. We're going to put a more apropos gearing. It's got a big, I don't know, I don't even think that Nova Record rather can handle that cog, but evidently it does. And we're just going to give this thing a good once-over, good polish, good cleaning, and uh, we're going to ride it when we're done. And we're also going to ride that Condor when we're done, too. Uh, I never ride bikes in the channel, but we'll give it a shot. Hey, guys, uh, we're back in the shop, and that, that this bicycle's right next to me, and it's about half-built. And you can't see it because I'm going to have to release another video next week. Sorry about that. And this, I, I, you know, I make these videos as I go. And right now the video is 26 minutes long. And I'm not going to put out a 50 minute video. You guys fall asleep after 25 minutes anyway. Some don't even make it that long. You guys have no stamina whatsoever. But uh, yeah, so we're going to, uh, we're going to finish this video uh, uh, next week. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.